A pandemic that struck two years ago altered the lives of thousands, whether celebrities or common people. While it trashed someone's, somehow it made someone's better too. Those who took the opportunity achieved much more than they could ever achieve before. A lady casually filming her lifestyle for fun started making immense money during the pandemic lockdown, and the numbers are quite surprising. Fingers crossed, waiting for the universe to sprinkle some fairy dust on my life as well. Maybe turning me into some majestic unicorn anyway. Stephanie Jarvis, known for her YouTube channel The Chateau Diaries, is a vibrant and adventurous personality who films life at a historic chateau in rural France. Her enthusiasm and creativity while documenting the challenges of restoring and maintaining a centuries-old estate helped her win millions of hearts worldwide. Though she looks very young and fragile, her dreams are something really in contrast with it. Here we are again, with an interesting story of a woman who dared to dream big and took on the monumental challenge of restoring a 16th century chateau to its former glory. Let's get deeper into her story and discover more about her journey, how much she earns, and her personal relationships as well. Stick around until the end of this video to find out all that lies beneath the depths of her chateau. Backstory Born and raised by her British father and French mother in a lavish house in England, Stephanie developed a deep love for history, architecture, and the French countryside from a young age. This passion eventually led her to restore her family's ancestral chateau in the soil of rural France. Stephanie bought the chateau back in 2005 along with her university friend, Nick, for about the price of two small flats in London nowadays. Later, her friend Michael also became a joint owner of the property. Things were a little slow at the start for Lalanda and almost continued at the same pace for about a decade. However, she and her friends were committed to bringing the chateau back to life and tirelessly continued the restoration despite it being overly expensive and effortful. Opening up about this life-changing moment, she said, I and Nick decided to purchase the property. The first time we met, I told Nick, we're going to buy a chateau together one day. She added, he thought I was mad, but the idea didn't go away. Ten years later, at the age of 29, we each sold our two-bedroom London flats and bought Lalande. Everyone thought we were mad. Moreover, she said, There's no doubt in my mind that this is what I was meant to do with my life. I love nothing more than bringing this magnificent building back to life, welcoming people to our home and letting them discover the magic of this place. Well, I would definitely think they have gone mad. Two years later in 2017, things began to change when Stephanie and her family were approached by Channel 4 to take part in the spin-off series that aired on British TV from 2018 onwards. At random, writing on her website, she revealed her response to the channel and said, I thought it sounded fun and, on a whim, agreed to participate, mainly imagining the hilarity of my mother on film. She said, We all expected to be a tiny part of an obscure show on an even more obscure television channel and were surprised when we first learned that it was to be a Channel 4 spin-off series from Dick and Angel's legendary escape to the chateau. Later in September 2018, when she started her own YouTube vlog channel, The Chateau Diaries, The Chateau de Lalande became her big project. Living in a castle sounds magical, but the reality is the opposite. It's a lot of work and costs a ton of money to turn the imagination into reality. Stephanie tried getting donations to help with the costs, but it wasn't easy at all, and only a small part of what she needed came in. She supervised the restoration project of Chateau de la Lande, a massive 16th century castle with over 20 bedrooms. It seems like a paradise in the Limousin region, right in the heart of France's beautiful countryside. She shared herself exploring the hidden corners of the chateau, sharing pieces from its past and experiments in the kitchen while capturing everything to preserve the culture and the authenticity of the place. Beyond her role as a YouTube personality, Stephanie is also a dedicated entrepreneur, using her platform to promote sustainable living practices and support local artisans and craftsmen. Through her collaborations and community engagement initiatives, she connects with people and inspires others to work alike to preserve their precious belongings. Now let's move on to the next segment, how much she earns. You all might be wondering about the costs involved in managing such a massive chateau single-handedly. So, let us get you there. 
Her diverse background including studying at Oxford and pursuing opera at Trinity College of Music alongside her talents as a singer makes her well suited for the enriched chateau lifestyle. At first, Stephanie's YouTube channel was small scale but she faithfully posted vlogs every week, sharing the magic of the chateau and its visitors. The real magic happened during the COVID lockdowns when Stephanie's YouTube views soared. Hundreds of thousands of people tuned in to watch the adventures of the Lalande family, changing Stephanie's life inside the chateau forever. Stephanie's YouTube began in 2018 after her stint on a reality TV show inspired her. She never expected that documenting her chateau life would lead to such unexpected success. However, the pandemic in 2020 presented new challenges. With bookings cancelled, Stephanie had to turn back to her creative skills. With simple edits and really good narratives, she dragged her passion for the chateau into a thriving YouTube career. The growing popularity of the Chateau Diaries reflected Stephanie's entrepreneurial skills as well. She started posting on the 1st of July 2018 and to date she has uploaded 802 videos and gathered more than 100 million views. With a massive 238,000 subscribers and rising, the channel is estimated to be worth more than $128,000. Her estimated annual earnings from the Chateau Diaries fall within the range of $100,000 to $150,000. This fluctuation reflects the varying factors influencing revenue, such as views, engagement, and ad revenue. Beyond entertainment, Stephanie aims to educate viewers about French chateau culture and lifestyle. Her Sundays at the Chateau segment offers deeper insights into chateau living, enriching the viewer experience. Her love for animals, especially chickens, adds charm to her channel. Her commitment to sustainable living is evident as she sells chicken coops and treats in France and the UK. The lady has got more than enough, I feel inspired. Okay, now let's discuss something you guys might be waiting about Stephanie's love life. As we think about Stephanie Jarvis's life, it's clear she lives alone in a huge 40 room property. But if you've been watching The Chateau Diaries, you'll know how lonely it can get when your family has their own lives to live. She has achieved her dream of owning this grand home, but amidst the quiet, you can't help but feel sorry for her. However, she's not really alone. At the very start, it seemed like she was dating Michael Potts, but he may had some different preferences. Then there's Michael Petrick, likely a good friend to her rather than a romantic partner, which results in their friendship being very nice to see. There's also Nick Larkin, who happens to be Stephanie's ex-partner and has also played a big role in helping her achieve her dream. In her video, Stephanie has been very open about her life, but she kept her romantic interests secret, which seemed unusual. However, when she finally told everyone about her relationship with Philip, it was a big moment. It wasn't easy for her to share such personal details because people might misunderstand. But Stephanie fearlessly talked about it anyway. The support and understanding she got from her viewers were really good. It showed the importance of being happy, even if it goes against what others expect. Some people might have worried about the age gap between Stephanie and Philip, but they have a lot in common and seem to get along well. The video they made for Valentine's Day, where Philip was behind the camera, showed how well they connected and cared for each other. As Stephanie and Philip keep building their relationship, the things they do together make their YouTube channel even more interesting. Whether it's shopping for groceries or visiting Stephanie's mom, each moment they share on camera brings them closer. People have reacted positively to the news of their relationship, proving that love doesn't have to follow any rules. If you're someone into cute relationship stuff, you may keep an eye on them. That's all for this video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.